Ah, good morning world, and good morning YouTube. So I wanna tell you how rich I am. Instead of living in a house, I live in a villa. I'm so rich that I protect myself by 30 million square foot of barbed wire. Ow. And because I'm super minimalist, I don't need a gym. I just have this $13 million silver plated, gold plated, Bowflex personal thing where I do my pull-ups. This plant was imported from Japan feudal ex-military sovereign samurai leader and we shipped it here to Bali and just planted it right there. The emperor from China actually gave this to us and we're installing it over here. I'm so rich that we actually have Pokemon installed into the back of our pond where they're actually about to evolve into Gyaradoses which we're gonna sell as a business. I'm actually so rich that All I eat is steak because that's what rich people do. They just eat steak. They don't, they don't have time for regular food. I'm so rich that we actually buy eggs in the dozens. I am so rich that Jeff Bezos asked me the other day, uh, he was calling me, he was like, hey Mike, how's it going? And I was like, yeah, how's it going, Jeff? He's like, can I borrow $10 billion? And I was like, ha, you only want $10 billion? Why don't you ask for something a little bit more that you think you could actually accomplish? I'm so rich that the previous joke didn't even have to make sense for it to be funny. I'm so rich that I stopped using paper and I just started writing on my windows. See? I don't need paper. Who needs paper? And I'm so rich that I'm literally just surrounded by this entire jungle. That's right. There's no other neighbors around me because I bought them all out and turned them into rice. So that's what everyone sees when they are looking from the outside in. They see all the things that they can only see, but very few actually know what actually happens in here. Now, that was a little bit comical. And if you thought that wasn't funny, then I thought it was funny, so it doesn't really matter. And because of that, what is that? Do you hear that? So that was kind of the truth, kind of. Or at least that's what people can see when they're looking from the outside in. They see the life, they see the videos, they see the Instagram pictures. And so when people see people's lives from the face value, that's what they see. They're like, oh wow, this guy's happy, this guy's successful, this guy has things. This guy has nothing wrong going on with him, right? But I wanna, I wanna share with you like a different story. And even right now, it kind of feels weird to say this because you know, when you make videos like this, you're very afraid to really show what's actually going on in your mind. Like my entire life, I was always afraid to have the real world really understand who was the Mike that I really am. And because of that, I would spend a lot of time creating this almost false persona of just trying to impress the world. I was like, okay, let me travel, let me stay in nice hotels, let me document things and let me share it. And, and the more I started putting on this mask on how I wanted to be viewed to the world, the more I started getting out of tune with who I actually was and the more insecure and the more unhappy that I actually felt. And, and this is probably even worse than so many things because it, it's such like a poisonous thing, right? To try to be something you're not, to try to show this image of who you are just to like make people think you're cool and really just for the seeking of the validation of other people. I, I don't know why I do this and it's a trait that I don't really like about myself. And, and the reason why I'm actually making this video is to really kind of wrap my head around these thoughts because, you know, I, I've never really told this to anybody. I've never really said it out loud. Even as I said it out loud, I feel kind of scared that, oh my God, what if people judge me? What if, what if they make fun of you, Mike? What if your jokes wasn't funny? Because newsflash, they weren't funny. What if? And, and it's something that I just wanted to get off my chest because the other day I was talking to, uh, someone that that's a subscriber right and i've just been getting on zoom calls with them and just seeing like who are the people that are watching this channel so i could actually find a way to serve them more and what he shared with me was actually a mirror to my own thoughts about myself he's in california 28 years old male stuck can't go out said it's like the apocalypse right now in california and i was like wow i can only imagine and 
he wanted to start like an online business. There was like so many things that he wanted to get into, but he just felt like every one of them was saturated. Uh, maybe it wasn't aligned for him. He didn't feel like he was passionate about it. And then most of the time, he just wouldn't actually pull the trigger and get started. And he said, oh, he can never do that because he's too late or he doesn't have what X person has or what Y person has. And he was just waiting, right? He was just waiting for the perfect opportunity. But the thing is, years could happen and the perfect opportunity could never actually happen. And here I was in like this interesting position. You know, I could have either, either told him like what to do or it was like one of the first times that I was like, okay, let me just tell him the truth of like how I actually feel. And how I felt was like, dude, I don't, I still don't know what I'm doing, right? I feel anxiety every single day. I feel insecurity every single day. Every single morning when I wake up and I open my eyes and I'm like, wow, today is such a beautiful day. That's my first thought. The second is, wow, you have a lot of work to do on yourself, Mike. You have so much internal demons that you're like dealing with. And, and the more you just keep it up inside, the more it's just going to destroy all of it. And it's so interesting. And it's so weird because I always preach gratitude. I always preach presence. Even this morning, you know, I, I really like sat down by my journal and I wrote down all the things that I was grateful for. But the funny thing is, if I don't do that, I don't know why it is like, and I'm really curious if anyone else has ever experienced this. Why does the brain always tend to think in like a more negative way of thinking? I'm like constantly observing my thoughts and I was like, wow, that was a really negative thought I just thought. Wow, this person is amazing. Why do I feel angry at them? And, and, and it's starting to realize that if I'm not actually hold myself accountable to these negative thoughts here in my garage, you know what I like more than these uh, mopeds that I got after I sold my $10 billion Lamborghini because it just took up too much space in my multi-million dollar Batman cave? These boxes of ramen noodles because it's not about the wealth that you make, it's about your health and it's about the knowledge, which is why if you need help making money online, you could either generate, huh, get it? Cause that's a generator. Generate it in ways that are confusing. You could try watching a bunch of YouTube videos and, and continue feeling lost, feeling like, wow, this freaking business idea sucks or wow, there's so much competition. It feels so saturated. I can never be able to succeed. Or you could learn a skill set that can pay you $2,000 this week. Choice is yours. Do you want the easy way or the hard way? You want millions of dollars worth of mopeds and a garage that's just too, much, like too big for these two mopeds? Or do you want to live a life filled with ramen noodles? Check out their free training. Now back to the video. It's very easy for me to just like slip away to the life that I attracted. Like for example, right? I, I have the most amazing, beautiful, supportive, just conscious girlfriend in the world, right? She's literally my dream girl. She's like this Russian entrepreneur slash model slash just amazing human being. I, 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 I was just so amazed to finally be in a situation where you know you attract somebody that is someone you actually want to be with, right? And and it's amazing, you know, it's like so fun. We vibe on so many levels, but there are certain times where I'll feel like the insecurity and most of the time it stems from comparing myself to somebody else, right? Because people think, oh man, this person's living a good life. This guy literally has like gold chalice things for meditation and whatnot. There can't be anything wrong with him. But when people think about that to me, like what the person that I was on the phone did, I think about that to so many other people in my life. There's so many people in my life and, and it just feels weird to say, make me feel small, make me feel like I'm not enough, make me feel like I can never get to where they are. It makes me feel overwhelmed because I don't know the steps that they took to get to that level because there's always different levels in life. And it's like this insecurity that breeds from comparison where I constantly look out in the environment and I'm like, oh, what does he have? What does she have? Oh, I don't have that. Oh, I feel bad. How can I get that? And it's in that transition of me asking myself, how can I get that? That I fail to lose sight of all the things that I have that I should be grateful for. One of them is like my relationship. I, I, I find sometimes that whenever I'm in this insecurity of comparing myself to others, especially in like wealth, 
I tend to be like angry and cynical to the people around me, especially the people that I'm like closest with. And, you know, I'm so grateful that I've been like working on myself and meditating and journaling and figuring out these thoughts that are currently going on in a 26 year old man's head, wondering why, why does this happen? Why is it that when we're not satisfied with what we want in our life, we start projecting it around the people around us? And it's something that I, I have no answers to. I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. But what I've realized is the more money you make, for some reason, for me, there's like a new level of insecurity that you didn't think was possible. Like I was, I was almost like less insecure when I had no friends in college because I became an entrepreneur and everyone thought that was weird. My fraternity brothers like ousted me from the thing and just like shaved me. I had no money, no sources of income. Uh, I was depressed. I was drinking every single day. I was like doing just the most horrible things. I was almost like less insecure around those times when I literally had nothing. And it seems like the more I was like on this rat race of, of trying to gain influence, trying to make more money, trying to become someone, try to make, be someone that people would want to be like, the more I started feeling insecure of like what I actually should and would say. Like even these videos are, are freaking hard to make. They're like, they're, they used to be so easy when, when, when I had no body following. This was so easy when I had like 10 subscribers because I knew no one was going to watch them. And I was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. But even if like, you know, a couple hundred or even like a couple thousand start like watching, you start thinking, oh man, what if I sound like an idiot? What if I, what if I do something stupid? What if I do something that hurts my brand? And you start worrying about bad things. You start thinking more negative and and I don't think this is all people, right? I think this is just my own weird little head, but I don't know, this is just something that I want more people to realize is, is no matter what you do in life, there's always someone that has more than you. And what I'm realizing this journey, especially being more reflective and being with myself and just sitting in these negative thoughts is all I'm really trying to chase I think if I'm trying to like wrap my head around this is like a feeling. Why do I want more money? It's because of a feeling that I'll get when I think I have the money that I want. Why do I want to just even like sabotage my relation because I'll see someone like attractive because it's a lot easier to do that than to work with all of these negative emotions that you are when you're just like with one other significant other, you know? It's 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 the weirdest thing, man. Like the mind of a 26-year-old male is just so weird because I feel like I'm in this weird spot in my life where I'm like on the transition roads, right? Where I need to accomplish something big. I'll feel like it's too late if I wait any longer. And all that is really just stemmed from my own insecurities. And it's insecurities that has made me lost a lot of money. It's, it's insecurities that has made me ruin a bunch of relationships. And it's relationship, it, it's actually like a poisonous thing that has made me just, I don't know, make things a lot harder than it really is, right? So these are just kind of like my two thoughts. I'm curious about what your thoughts are. Has anyone ever actually experienced this or am I, am I just like the weirdest person in the world? And that's like the thing, right? Because I think when I have X amount of money in my bank account, then I could just wake up one day and just, ah, I feel ultimately confident I'm the most amazing human being in the world. This is crazy that I get to do this. But then I got to realize, man, you know, I saw Interstellar the other day and I was like, we are just this little speck of dust in the midst of an infinite universe. My problems are so small and I think it's, it's, it's what I need to realize. The moment I can get out of my head and realize that there's this whole universe out there that just operates without me even doing anything and it's already caused all of this, then a lot of the insecurities that I feel are just self-inflicted just because I have nothing else better to do with my time other than to just see all of my faults. And it's actually really crazy because I'm pretty sure then with the quarantine and everyone sitting for the first time, not going somewhere, not allowed to escape, and they're literally just sitting on their couch. 
alone with her thoughts. I feel like actually maybe I'm not the only one that's going through all these weird set of thinking. I think I think that's what we do things. We want to travel. We want to escape. We want to go to a restaurant. We got, want to go to the movies. We want to go to the bar because the moment we sit and we actually see the thoughts that go on in this, it's not really a fun place. It's not really a fun place. I, I heard this quote. If you treated your friends the way you treated yourself, then you would have no friends. And I'm starting to realize that. I don't know. These are just my two thoughts. What are your thoughts? What are your experiences right now being locked up? How are you coping it with it? How are you dealing with it? I, like for me, I'm doing a lot of things. And let me actually share it with you. If I could just turn on this freaking AC. So this is how, seriously, look, there's notes everywhere. So this is just like a little help to anyone that may be feeling this anxiety and insecurity and weirdness. Back to the joke, I'm so rich, I don't have doors. I have mirrors that are secret passageways, but my girlfriend's sleeping right now. So I'll wake up and I'll come out of my mirror and I'm trying to fight all the negative thoughts. I'm like, oh my God, you suck, you suck, you suck. And I'm like, stop thinking like that. I sit right here and as you can see, it's my journal and my red bandana. For those that have been following this for a long time, you'll know where that red banana means. I'll literally sit here and I'll just force myself to write things that I'm grateful for. <laughs> As you can see. So for example, like I, <laughs> I was, I've never shared this ever. I like, I woke up and the first thing that I did was like, oh, I hate my life, what's going on? But instead I'm like, all right, let me, let me, let me change these thoughts. I wrote, I'm thankful for my life, I'm thankful for my breath, I'm thankful for my eyes, I'm thankful for my ears, I'm thankful for my heart, I'm thankful for my tummy, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for not feeling, I don't know what that is. I also have like very chicken hand scratch writing and, and I do that, I meditate, and then normally I'm good for like, I don't know, maybe four hours, but then after around lunchtime, the negativity and the insecurity starts coming in and, and I know I'm gonna make bad decisions after that. So usually after that, I'll come in here and I'll start doing my work. It's kind of messy right now. This is like the podcast room behind the scenes. And then, and then the rest of the day, I'm just thinking about how to actually fix my thoughts. That's really it. And then here's a karaoke machine. We do that sometimes here. But yeah, guys, hopefully this was insightful. Let me know what your guys' thoughts and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or maybe next week. See ya.